guys, welcome back. This is Rafa here. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you on a Mana NG313 A23 in the Ugliana. Uh, and this is actually one of my personal favorite models. Uh, not only in the Ugliana, but around the world generally. There it is. Let's get on board. Took out the wrong card. But let's move into the back. And as you can see, uh, compared to the NG313, it's a complete different design again. Um, completely um, it, how should I say that it's a change basically from the NG312 uh, although Viviana uh, only bought 13 of those uh, units uh, in 2003 and um, as of today only 10 of them are left so 3 got withdrawn Generally, what I like in those NG313s is the is is the very clear whistle of the uh, Void Retarder. I like the interior color. Uh, most of the NG312s uh, um, have green poles. Uh, those, the ones remaining today, I mean. Um, on 
only the first two batches uh, had yellow holes, but most of them are uh, withdrawn. And otherwise, the the remaining batches uh, had green holes. So coming back to the yellow holes with NG313 is uh, pretty nice, and I like that sort of dark yellow color. It looks good. The bus, uh, honestly, I find it in very good condition for its age. It's uh, 21 years old this year. Uh, oh, and a major change uh, from the NG312s uh, also are the, the seats. Uh, you can see that the cushions are super thin compared to the ones on the NG312. Um, and uh, that's how uh, that's how they moved on. Uh, that's how that's how they moved moved on with the man buses um, after uh, buying the NG three one two. I'm not sure. You might be able to see here how how uh, the. Um, seats inside this bus, the NG312, have much more cushion than what we have here. I mean, right now uh, when I'm sitting on it, I don't find it uncomfortable, uh, but Actually, it feels, it feels normal, but maybe, maybe because, um, maybe it's also because uh, the, the, the seats are resting on a, on a, um, on a bigger surface, unlike uh, those seats over there. It 
has a nice acceleration too. Yeah, I can say it's a it's a very good bus. And as far as I know, it might be the the NG three one three with the lowest mileage in the fleet. Uh, it's bus four two one, if I haven't mentioned already. generation. Um, this is the type of design that um, Mann uh, used, this is the type of interior that Mann used on on, uh, on their buses from um, ever since the, the, the early, um, early 2000s until about um, Until the early 2020s, um, when the when the new generation uh, came out, because then what happened is after after a few years of uh, of uh, producing um, of building those uh, mans, they um, they made an update to uh, to the Lion City over here. Um, which uh, which is based, which can basically be seen as an updated um, version of the uh, of the uh, third generation man. The Lion Cities are also third generation uh, mans, but they aren't really called third generation and anymore. Uh, they're just called Lion City. We refer to, as, to third generation man as a um, as the man's uh, basically built from the early 2000s to uh, to 2004, 2005, and that's my favorite generation from man. So the two older buses are staying for full day services. Yay! Quite ironic. getting closer to the stop. I can pretty much understand that, uh, knowing Polish. Two languages have uh, a lot of similarities. Getting close, closer to the terminal. Not 
sure what stop is next, but could actually be that. I hope you enjoyed, and as usual, stay tuned for the next video. There will be much more coming up. Bye-bye.